hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another video of uh, how to become a ninja developer playlist and in this video we are going to talk about uh, the simple roadmap uh, for a full stack developer okay this roadmap is uh, open to the public i just got it from this roadmap.sh but yeah it contains it is updated based on 2023 and it has all the things which we need to talk about okay i won't be covering the basics of internet and html css javascript let's start from here you already have experienced or maybe a fresher developer and looking for uh, the roadmap that how what path you should choose if you are really a fresher developer then this might not be the the video for you because you might be just uh, busy in learning html css javascript before even learning the the frameworks or getting in getting into the different framework for the server side and the client side you will be busy with understanding okay html's uh, form validations best practices dom how to access the dom seo best practices what is host like javascript core concepts the hosting closures uh, inheritance objects functions how we do all the things inside a javascript and i already have a smart playlist which covers everything about javascript the core concepts not just the basic programming concepts okay we'll come to the git git is you should have a good knowledge of git git is used for version control and we have these different providers either you can use github bitbucket gitlab and all right now coming to the package managers earlier we used to have only npm now we have a yarn and pnpm and also with the multi repo, repo setup because now we are having front end back end all the services together inside a one mono repo we are creating multiple folders and creating these workspaces so pnpm workspace npm workspace yarn workspace those are also popular so these are package managers npm yarn pnpm they also provide a workspace concept using which you can link the dependencies locally without even publishing them and pnpm package manager is getting more and more popular because it is faster and css architecture uh, block element modifier css processor sas and las post css and get some basic uh, web security knowledge https how it works cross origin resource sharing content security policy csp uh, headers and how you can set the csp headers how you can add a security to your front end app or a backend apis apps okay coming to the build tools because now in 2023 a couple of new build tools have arrived es build with uh, parcel uh, so these are earlier we were uh, already aware that webpack was there as a module bundler right in the build tools we have used webpack a lot with the angular react in the initial days after that now we have a lot of other uh, tools available for the module bundling the wit are really powerful are really fast and being used with the swell kit swell js and now also you can use with react so we have a task runners like npm scripts does the task executing the task npm run dev npm run build npm run test npm run migrations so you don't need some additional runners linters and formatters we are good with eslint rc and prettier rc we are using these prettier and eslint configurations and running npm run lint adding the eslint and prettier as a hook with your git commits so we are executing the eslint and prettier to format your code before even you raise a commit css framework the most popular ones uh, are, i mean if you remember a couple of years back we were using bootstrap and bulma bootstrap was popular providing the row column grid a 12 column grid structure after that we had this material uh, ui which get, gets more popular and then uh, this utility based framework came into the picture like tailwind where you just need to worry about writing the classes you just need to be aware how to use those classes uh, it's somewhat bootstrap but it's more utility oriented the tailwind and now we stop using these framework tailwind is providing us whatever we need at the end tailwind is adding lots of classes on a div or a particular element but that is still fine for now in the modern css we are using css modules styled jsx styled components 
these are still popular when you are writing a styled gsx putting css inside gsx for your components creating a css modules and doing uh, importing the modules in as a es module in your components react components testing your applications how we are testing so we write unit integration and functional for functional i am still using cypress not selenium web driver and all this is a modern world and we are good with using cypress and playwright for testing earlier we used to have multiple library mocha chai jasmine karma okay forget about all those things you can just use jest react testing library angular testing library and jest those are more than enough for doing your unit and integration tests authentication strategies uh, now we in my all full stack clone applications either i use firebase i wrote my own auth service or we are using auth0 so you might be familiar of, about how the authentication strategies really works and basic authentication strategy for apis either you authenticate using sso bc auth auth protocol you use or you write your own service where you do just do the authentication using token based or you can use cookies and manages the express sessions so there are there is a cookie based authentication or there is a session based authentication i mean in express app you can manage the sessions in the back end or you can also use cookies those sessions also based on the cookies okay so either you can use a stateless jwt based authentication or you can use a session based and a cookie based authentication web components all these uh, modern framework are based on these web component uh, principles shadow dom custom element custom imports html templates and like like angular and react were baseline to adopt the web component standards so that you can import one component inside another component shadow dom concept custom elements and all progressive web app are in i will say in shadow uh, right now because uh, when it comes to building something for the mobiles we have this flutter and react native with the same same stack like in react native you can build the same you can use the same react type script code to build the react native application shadow doms are still there where you can do the caching do the device notifications all the all the shenanigans which we were not having with the web apps and you wanted to build a light pwa progressive web app then we were using all those features of service worker offline caching uh, all those concepts are still there server side rendering now we have these new five frameworks added next and next sorry uh, next which is coming from the react next which is coming from the vuejs i mean they were already there but now the swell kit is also getting popular and the next js 13 version is recently released which is providing the app directory so these things are getting popular you can have a knowledge on react and next js that is enough or if you love swelt js which i really love i learned swelt kit swelt kit is also really powerful for server side rendering and then static site generators you can just use gatsby for writing your static markdown files for the blog application or use next or next js i mean you can build a static website using any of these jackal we were using earlier uh, back in those days now we can use next or gatsby my all my applications uh, blog applications tksharma.com is using gatsby because that is powerful and uh, satisfying my needs for publishing their uh, daily blogs graphql we are using apollo apollo federations uh, that is really powerful because we are not stick to using just rest apis you can also expose a graphql interface on http layer or if you know the microservices you can expose tcp grpc trpc interface and you can have fun mobile applications still we are using react native and flutter flutter is recently become more more and more popular and you keep learning i will say because things will come and go new build tools new testing tools new library new framework and stick to core components core structure of core fundamentals of javascript always keep that handy with you because these framework will come and go because today we have a different bundling tool tomorrow there will be something else today we have these tailwind popular tomorrow there can be something else uh, today we are just using this chest and uh, cypress tomorrow can be different things for authentication strategies 
currently we are using token based authentication using jwt future is the passwordless authentication right where you might be just authenticating using web whatsapp or just using simple simple entering the mobile like in the mobile apps for how you do authenticate you enter your mobile number you get the token right that is the next level but uh, further uh, to enhance the securities there is a two-factor authentications lots of new concepts are coming into picture even the passwordless authentication is the future and we will see new auth protocols to uh, adopt in the application authentication and authorizations okay and the important part here is after looking at the roadmap you might be seeing lots of things are there right if you are a fresher stick to one framework get hands on the core javascript do simple express uh, api development and do the front end with the react because most of the developers are doing that if you really love Svelte.js, you can try with the Svelte.js and Svelte kit and just stick to one package manager pnpm or npm and start learning tailwind before that learn how the css really works the styling using sas slash and writing vanilla styles okay apart from that if you really want to learn all those things most of these things are on my channel uh, stay tuned you can also join my slack channel where i can take your query and if something is needed we should be able to publish it uh, thanks everyone